How's it how's it going? Y'all back with new damn video. Let's get right down to it. It's not a birds. They move to three and O. Oh. I like it. Love it. You have to. What else can you say? Uh, cheers on that also. Boom. Yeah, a little white claw, whatever. Had to cover the logos, just in case. You never know. <laughs> uh, with these, you know, with this YouTube stuff. But uh, Eagles moved to 3-0. They beat the Tampa Buccaneers on Monday Night Football. What was it 25-11? Whatever. Um, defensively, amazing game. Amazing. Defense. I ain't gonna lie to you. I went into this game very, very worried. I was worried about the defense. Uh... Not really, I wouldn't say really defense. I was more worried about the team overall because the offense under has been underperforming to the ability that they can, you know, perform at. And I said, man, you know, Baker's been playing really well and that, you know, Tampa defense is playing really well. And I'm like, man, maybe if we get into a situation where, you know, their defense makes a stop or so on our offense and then next thing you know, the Buccaneers offense can start clicking and moving. And they got Mike Evans. They got Chris Godwin. Like, I understand it's not Tom Brady there anymore. Ba Baker Mayfield is still a solid quarterback. And in my personal opinion, he's better than the two other ones we just faced. Mac Jones. Well, Mac Jones is starting to look good after you watch these past three weeks. But still, him, maybe he's better than Kirk Cousins. That's just my opinion. Maybe. But there's more weapons than just the Justin Jefferson. You get the whole, the whole deal. You know what I mean? And I said, man, we looked bad in those other games. Defense looked good, but then at times gave up big plays. But I will say this. You're down uh, Maddox. You had to put Josh Job. Who the hell is this guy? Josh Job had to put him outside, had to move uh, James Bradbury to slot. Just so... You know, he, he can cover Chris Goblin because Chris, Chris, Chris Goblin plays more slot than a lot of the people, you know, like the more than he does outside. You get the whole ordeal. And I said, all right, we'll see how this does. Defense was phenomenal. Defense did everything they could. If our offense, our offense did their thing, but if they did more than they did, this game wouldn't have not even been close. I'm just being honest. Once again, just like last week, and kind of similar to week one against the Patriots. This offense can get you into the, the 20s of the opposing team or the red zone. But once they get there, play calling sucks. It is shit. Garbage. They're literally, that's all it is. You're sitting there going, okay, well, you kind of ran the ball a little here, ran the ball a little here, you passed it. Now you're in this red zone. You have the probably the best offensive line in the NFL who makes holes like this big for the running backs. Why don't you just run the ball? I, 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 don't, I don't understand it. So they get there. The first time they get there, uh, I think they did a play-action pass. The first play, I'm trying to remember, but whatever. First play, it was a dump. It was basically a... Uh, I might be screwing it up. I think the first one was the Jack Stoll. Jack Stoll dropped it. Next one, boom, they do a play action. They do a basically a screen to Goddard. It's a one like a one yard pickup. But you just were running the ball pretty nicely the entire drive to get to that point to where you were at the, at the twenties or the whatever near, near the red zone, or whatever. But you get the deal. They get there. It's like one yard, one yard. One. Now it's like four. I think it was fourth and two. Yeah, fourth and two, and they decide to run it. But they decided to run it, which this is the thing. At the time, I'm like, damn, that's a bad play call. Why are you going to run that? Like, on fourth and two, you're going to run the ball? But with that offensive line and how good the run game is going, I understand it. But not with Gainwell. How in the hell do you give it to Gainwell when wasn't it Swift who was picking up, was rushing basically throughout that drive kind of? Now it's let's put Gainwell in now in the most important, important probably, uh, Two yardage situation or the most probably the most important play of that whole drive. Let's put him in now. Yeah. Uh but before that there was that oh now I remember it was the play action rollout. It was supposed to be to, to Dallas Goddard. Dallas Goddard basically tripped and uh, you know, stumbled a fumble. They passed to the end zone. Uh, incomplete. Um well broke bro it was broke up, whatever. Then they go for Fort Tour and they do it with Gainwell. And if you see Gainwell, there was a decent hole to hit. 
And then next thing you know, Gainwell, he got tripped up or whatever. But I still, people keep saying bad play call, bad play. I don't think it was bad play call. Maybe it was, but I think maybe bad play call, but I think maybe you just had the wrong running back in there, honestly. I'm not saying Swift would have got it, but I have a feeling him, even Penny, but really Swift because he's been, you know, balling so much. He would have hit the hole so f- so fast. As soon as he seen it open, he would have hit it. Even the, if he got tripped up a little, he probably would have, you know, launched it across. But you get the deal. But so then, okay, no points there. Now we go back on defense, two or thing, blah, blah, blah. We get the ball back, get a 50 yard, what was it? Not, what about 50 yards, but almost 50 yards, punt return, whatever it was. Okay. We go back on offense. Now we got another opportunity because our defense stopped them and now they have to punt the ball. And our punt returner, Covington, who we've all been talking trash on, had one hell of a damn return. I'm like, okay, momentum's on our side again. We once again get back in that situation, those 20s and all that garbage, and kick a field goal. Just like it was Thursday night two weeks ago against Minnesota Vikings. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the hell, bro? We should be up by double digits or at least 10 points right now. At least it should be 10 nothing, or 14 nothing. Literally, that this, this should be like, forget about it type thing. So then the game goes on, game goes on. Uh, Hurts, Hurts, this one thing I want to say about Jalen Hurts. The once again, I cannot blame the entire offense because the offense looks okay until they get in, like I said, in that those situations, then it's like they the play calling goes trash as hell. It just goes to shit. It just goes garbage. Like the guy, like uh, Brian Johnson, don't don't know what the hell he's doing when, when he gets in that situation. He don't know anything at all. It's like, oh, we're gonna do this and that and some, and you're doing pass plays that are like dink and dunks. You're not even doing anything creative. You're not doing anything that's all. Oh, let's, you know, we've been run the ball a lot. You know, let's do a play action and then let's just. You know, you get what I mean. But um, Jalen Hurts, he played a solid game. He had an interception in the red zone. Once again, that was crazy. We got an did That was what Ed Reed got. Um, Ed Reed. <laughs> Reed Blankenship. I'm getting so used to listening to WIP and people saying, he's Ed Reed Blankenship. You know, joking around, comparing Ed Reed. Um, Reed Blankenship gets an interception. I'm like, okay, now we better score go score a touchdown on this damn thing after missing out two times that close to scoring after having such great drives and moving the ball around. Nah, Hurts throws an interception. But prior to that, there was Hurts. He went to throw a ball to Dallas Goddard, and there was miscommunication. You can tell it was because the ball was thrown here. Like, the ball was thrown here, and Goddard was like here. It's like, dude, you should have been there. It happens again. In turn, and it was it Swift or Adrian Brown? Whoever, I think it was Swift, ran a route. Didn't go the right route. It was intercepted. So I go, what the fuck? and there's and I'm like, there's no way Hertz just threw that ball right to the right right to you know right to the, uh, I think it was a linebacker. Yeah, it's, I'm like, there's no way he just throws it right to him. Like, oh, just, there you go. No, there was miscommunication once again, which I blame on Johnson because how the hell you gonna sit back? Play call sucks. The guys should be on the same page. Are these plays you guys just create these plays this week? How is Two back, not back to back plays, but in the same drive, plays. Guys are not on the same page offensively. Where the receiver should be, where the tight end should be. It makes I, I don't know how, whatever. There's probably more you gotta look into it. I don't have time to look into it. I'm pissed off. Whatever. I'm not pissed off. But you get the deal. Uh, what's our defense do? Our defense goes right back out there. Jalen Carter, the steal of the goddamn draft. How did nine other teams? Eight, sorry, eight other teams pass on him. I'll never know. <laughs> I get it. He had the whole off the field issue, whatever. Who cares? He was a young kid. It wasn't his fault. But you get the deal. What's he do? Boom. Strips white. Takes the ball out. Now I'm like, okay, we got to do something here. And then, you know, we start doing a little something, whatever. Score. And I'm like, but still, it's 10 nothing. But I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, dude, this should be like the way, whatever. But we won the game. This is the big thing, especially this weekend, excuse me, where I watched the Miami Dolphins drop 70, yeah, 70 points. The most in probably any of our lifetimes we've seen a team score on someone against the Broncos. I see Miami do that. Yeah, they got talent. They got, 
you know, Tyreek Hill. Waddle wasn't even in the game. Think about that. So I see them do that, right? Then I see us. And we we can get the ball to the red zone or to the 20, to like the, the 20, 20-ish you know, yard line. We can't do anything with it once we get there. And it makes me think, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. Better fix it quickly because you're lucky you're versing, you know. Uh, look, it was a struggle against the Patriots. Minnesota was a little bit of a struggle until, you know, we finally, finally kicked it into full gear. Bucks game, same thing, and then we finally, like, but this is not going to be sustainable at all. Maybe next week against Washington you can kind of pull this off. That's cool and all, whatever. But when you got Miami on the schedule, the Bills on the schedule, the Chiefs, even though they're up and down right now, you got all these people on the damn schedule. It will improve. But I just don't understand, especially DeAndre Swift. He has to be running back one. And Gainwell can get some carries here and there. Cool. Get him. That's cool. Whatever. What I don't understand, okay, about that, like I said, is, for example, DeAndre Swift, I think like the first quarter, the first hit, whatever it was, they're pounding the ball with him, and he's picking up almost seven yards a carry, eight yards a carry. Then they just went away from him completely. Like, let's just get away from him. They start passing the ball, or they give it to Gainwell. And I'm like, what are you doing? Do you forget this guy exists? He's on your team. And they get in, every time they get in that red zone situation, they don't even want to run the goddamn ball. It's like, dude, what are you doing? If it's been working previously up to this drive, why when you're this close to this, why not run it one more time? Okay, pick it. Okay, now we're actually in the red zone. Now it's, uh, you know, first and goal. Okay, maybe run one more time. Oh, don't get it. Okay, now let's do a little play action. Maybe bully roll that pass or, you know, play action, piss in the end zone. They're, they get in that situation. They do nothing. They don't understand, you know, I, I don't know, whatever. It's really sickening to me. And it's not going to last. It's not going to work when we get to other teams. But we are 3 0. We're lucky. That on offense, we're playing basically a C. Besides the rushing, passing-wise, we're like playing like a C or a B level, even though A.J. Brown had 140-something yards. You get the deal. We're playing at a decent level, not an amazing level. Jalen Hurts, to me, still is a beast. Um, but has anyone noticed this, though? He looks really slow. He don't run as much as he did in the past two years. And when he does run, he looks really slow. Like, I don't know what it is. It looks like he has fucking soggy socks in his goddamn shoes or so, on his cleats. I, I don't know what it is. He's running like he has cement cement in the bottom of his cleats. I don't know what that's about, but, yeah, you get the deal. Uh, I'm not going to keep complaining. Defense did a great thing. Defense did their job. Defense did what they had to do. Stop him. Get him going. And uh, that's about it. Go Burst. Fox, 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 Fox